right, so um, this is the Augma Infinium glitch, which, uh, gosh, way back when, uh, I feel like 2011, uh, it got, um, the, the bug was fixed and it did not work for a while. Uh, but as I've done with, you know, some of these others, um, kind of go back and look and see if some of the glitches, the old glitches still work. And this one is supposed to work. Um, it does not work the way that it did before. So previously it worked, um, almost infinitely. Like you could do this thing and just keep picking, 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 picking until you got yourself to a hundred in everything. Um, but, um, for the PlayStation 4, which is what I'm playing it on, um, it, uh, apparently only works up to three times, um, I've done this twice now and I've got it to work uh, for two, um, but I'm trying something different. So you'll notice that the bookshelf is empty. Um, and uh, I watched a couple other videos and one of the people said it works best with the bookshelf being empty. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, so what you wanna do is have a bookshelf, right? Empty it out. And to have a bookshelf, obviously you're going to need a home. This is Bree's home in Whiterun. Um, so you can actually get the home and pretty early um, and it doesn't cost a lot to decorate this one the augma infinium is part of discerning the trans mundane um, and this is your uh, this is your prize for doing that particular part of the quest uh, you'll see uh, septimus sigmus uh, that is part of the main quest line and then this is a side piece that comes off of that uh, so again, depending on how far you progress early on. Uh, uh, in the old days, this was a super overpowered glitch, and now we'll see if it works this uh, even up to three. It's actually, I would say, pretty fair. All right, so uh, anyway, empty out your bookshelf. You're going to put this on the bookshelf. What you're going to do is activate the bookshelf. Okay? Uh, again, this is on PlayStation, so it'll be... Um, L2, R2. Um, so what you're going to do right now is take it off the bookshelf. But do not close this menu. Leave this menu up. Go ahead over. Go down to your books. Go down here. Find your Augma Infinium. Now, you're going to hold L2 and R2 at the same time that you push X. So you're going to hold them down simultaneously. One, two, three. Here we go. And hold it until this comes up. Now, once this comes up, if it's done right, I'm going to pick Path of Magic. Notice the book did not disappear. Um, I will pick Path of Magic again. Oh, and I got it. So maybe doing it with an empty bookshelf works best. Okay. So I've done Path of Magic twice because I have some pretty low things in Path of Magic. Um, and... I will go ahead and pick one in Path of Shadow. And lo and behold, take a look, and you're noticing all of these things going up. So each one of these skills inside of that particular path goes up by one in here, which again, it's a pretty cool glitch already. I mean, not glitch, but it's a pretty cool item already. Um, especially when you are at some higher levels, because obviously, as we know, uh, it is harder to get some of these when you get to higher levels. Um, but you'll notice it went through the uh, magic section. It's now going through the uh, through this portion of it. So I'm actually getting a fair few levels um, based on uh, just using this particular glitch. And so there we go. And then as soon as you can't store it again or do it again, if you try it again, it pops up. Obviously nothing happens. And as soon as you back out, it says Agma Infinium removed. All right. Well, thanks for watching this uh, tip and trick, this little <laughs> bit of glitch, and hopefully it helps you out.